Hello, my name is Aaron Alvarez, and I will be talking about Matsuo Basho and his journey of writing and also his involvement in Zen Buddhism. So, a little backstory and history. Matsuo Basho was born in 1644 in Uego, Japan. He grew up and became a servant to a gentleman named Todo Yashitada, who taught him how to write and form poems in the style of haiku. Haiku can be broken down into three parts, usually centered around two images and a concluding line, which usually juxtapose one another. After serving his master, his master died, and after this, Basho wanted to roam on foot, and he also lived a very calm life in a small hut. So two of the main points that I will be talking about in my paper regarding Basho and his writings are him talking about wabi and sabi. Wabi meaning that satisfaction with simplicity and sabi meaning appreciation for the imperfect. Both of these will be very important in his writings and also throughout his own life. I will also be talking about Basho's very often talking about nature and how this should be related to people and writing. This topic of nature helped Basho to relate to readers that they should be comfortable in their own company and also appreciate the moment they are in. This was a way for Basho to express his beliefs that stem from Zen Buddhism and also his own life experiences. Basho also used his poetry to remind readers that nature is just like life and it is ever-changing and fleeting. This will be a very important topic and it will be throughout Basho's writings, his poems, and this is what I will be talking about in my paper. Thank you.